Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to Logo History. For this episode, we're going to have a look at Continental, the Portland Trailblazers, and Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Wa. I sound pretty French. Ho 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 ho. First, let's start with Continental, or Continental AG. Here's the short bio of those of you who don't know what Continental is. It is a German automotive industry founded in 1871. Their headquarters are in Hanover, Germany. Its key people are Wolfgang Reitzel, Chairman, and Elmar Degenhardt, CEO. And as of 2019, there are 244,582 employees. It is about time that we finally get exact amounts. <laughs> oh man, I might be the weirdest YouTuber ever. <laughs> And our website is www.continental-corporation.com. Www it's their website, so let's take a look. If you could save 40,000 lives a year, would you? <gasps> oh, yes, I will. Of course, I would save a thousand lives. Let's go outside and defend Staten Island and the whole world by saving lives. I'm kidding. I mean, I, I, of course, you can, of course, you have to save lives, you know, to save the world and everything, but we're in the middle of an episode. Oh, look at this tech boy. He, he looks so, he looks so into it. Wow, dude, that looks cool. Welcome to Continental Corporation USA. Our corporate website is the hub for all information around press, career, sustainability, innovation, and basic company topics. Wow. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1882 to 1951, we have a white horse in some, like, there's like, I don't know, dirt below it? And then it's inside this black circle. And actually, it's inside this. Actually, oh my god. There, well, let me try. Let me say this logo again. We have a white circle with black outline. Inside the circle, we have like some other circles in it. And then between the circles, we have, we have the words C, C, and G, P, C, H. Oh, my God. Uh, I hope I'm saying this correctly because I don't think I'm saying it correctly personally. And then, of course, we have the horse inside the second circle, as I said before. Well, it took me about a minute to say what the logo was like. Uh, 1951 to 2013, we have the word continental in black text. And, um, and then we have like a horse inside this circle. And then we have another circle with the words continental something. I think this also says continental, but it's upside down. Also, I think there's a secret to this. If the C is bigger than the rest of the letters in the word continental... Do the C and the O come together to make a tire? Cause, cause Continental is an automotive industry, like a tire industry. So aren't the C and the O, you know, combined to make a tire? Cause, cause if that's the case, then that's mind blowing. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> and then these are six other versions. In 2013 to the present, uh, we have the same text. We have, we, like, we just, well, that actually is the same logo as last time. But the horse is different. Now the horse is out of the emblem. We just have a horse that goes, while its front legs are going up. And I'm guessing that the black line represents, like, the ground that he's, that he's standing on. And then these are seven other versions. Next, we will move on to the Portland Trail Blazers. Here's the short bio for those of you who don't know who the Portland Trail Blazers are. They are an American professional basketball team that plays for the NBA. They also play for the Northwest Division and the Western Conference. It was founded in 1970. Their arena is the Moda Center. It is mainly sponsored by Performance Health or Biofreeze. Their president is Chris McGowan. Their general manager is Neil Olshi. Their, oh Their head coach is Terry Stotts. It is owned by the estate of Paul Allen. 
And so far, they have won one championship, three conference titles, and six division titles. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Oh my god, I just ate dinner. So yeah, not 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 a bad record, I guess. And their website is www.nba.com slash blazers. So let's take a look. Also, if you live in America, you know, like most of us here, you have to go change your clock soon. Because November 3rd is the end of daylight savings. Look, like I'm on the calendar app. Look at November 3rd. Click on that. You'll see that it says daylight savings end. Do you know what the end of daylight savings is? That means all clocks fall back an hour. So therefore, if you live in America and you live in the first, and if you live in any state in America except for oh my God, if you live in any state in America except for Arizona and Hawaii, then then daylight savings will end for you, but it will start back up in March. But but in that time. Hours will fall back one hour, which means we lose daylight. And the more daylight we lose, the more sleep we gain. So yeah, when it's November 2nd, you have to go change your clock ASAP. Because then the day will only be shorter for you if you don't change your clock. Anyways, back to the episode. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I'm if if you if you think I'm weird to you, I apologize. Wow, their their game already passed. Their game against the Oklahoma City Thunder already passed. Is it says 5 p.m. 6:50 right now in my state. Oh hell no, am I watching this video? Because I don't want to get a copyright claim. I mean, I would watch it, but I just. I just want I just don't want to get a copyright strike. I mean it has all these YouTube icons on it. And now without further ado, let's get started. 1970 to 1990, we have the word Portland in uh, black text. And um I think we have like five five like curvy stripes that are black and another five curvy stripes that are like red and they kind of make a B. And then in red text we have the word trail, and then and then in black text we have the word blazers. 1990 to 2002, um, we have like a portal shape now. Now I don't. I think I think the icon that was in the last logo is just slightly tilted. And then in black text with with white outline and red drop shadow we have the word blazers. Two and uh, 2002 to 2003 this was their. Uh, icon that they used. 2003 to 2004, we have like a, a black parallelogram and it has like the icon. I'm not going to tell you more about it because this video is going to get kind of long. So I'm just going to say the icon. And uh, we have the word Portland. We have the word we have the word Portland in white text. And then in white text with red drop shadow, we have the word blazers. 2004 to 2017, same as last time, but the parallelogram became more darker and thinner, and the word trail has been added for the words, for you know, for the Portland Trailblazers. And finally, 2017 to the present, the icon now has like black outline, and then in black text we have the words Portland Trailblazers. And then this is the icon version. And this is the horizontal version. And finally, we will move on to Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Wa. I sound pretty French. <laughs> Here's the short bio. Those of you who don't know what Miraculous is, it is a computer animated superhero animated series. Wait, hold on. It doesn't make sense if I write animated twice. Why do I always make typos in every episode these days? I must be pretty stupid, right? <laughs> well, not really. I'm, I'm smart, but I, I make these mistakes all the time. Like, I don't know why. 
Anyways, it is a computer animated superhero television series that first aired on September 1st, 2015. It was created by Thomas Ashtruck. It was developed by... It, it was developed by Jeremy Zag. Or maybe it is developed. It is written by Thomas Astruck and Sebastian Sibaldo. It is directed by Thomas Astruck, Chris, Christelle Abgral for season two, Jeremy Pauletti in season two, Benoit Boucher from seasons two to three, Willie, Willie Fried, Willie Fred Payne <laughs> season, from season two to three, and June Violet from seasons two to three. And for the English version, it is voiced by Christina V, Bryce Pappenbrook, Keith Silverstein, Mela Lee, Max Middleman, Ari Karanen, Ben Disson, Sela Victor, and Sabrina Ways. For the French version, it is voiced by Anouk Hotbois, Benjamin Bolin, Antoine Tome, or Tom, Marie Nonemacher, Thierry Kazazian, Fanny Block, Alexander Nguyen, Marie Chevalot, and, and Natalie Holmes. Or Holmes, sorry. In the French version, their opening theme is It's Ladybug! Performed by Wendy Child and Cash Calloway. In the French version, their opening theme is Miraculous, performed by Marilyn and Noam. Both themes are composed by Jeremy Zag and Noam Canyon. So far, they have aired four seasons and 76 episodes. And their website is www.miraculousladybug.com. So let's take a look. Ooh, it's Ladybug background! I bet this is going to be a lucky episode, because ladybugs represent luck. Oh my god. Uh, somebody just came in. Um... Ah, uh, so sorry. Um... Wow, this looks so damn awesome. All right, and their production website is pgentertainment.com. Wait, hold on. pgsentertainment.com slash franchises slash miraculous. So let's take a look. Ooh. 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 Sorry about that. I was just, I was just so into the fact that that everything on this website looks so cool. Also, this website is not secure, so I'm gonna x that out. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 2012 as a primary logo, and 2012 to the present as a secondary logo. We have the word miraculous in black text, and then in white text with black outline, we have the words ladybug, or the word ladybug, and then we have a circle with. Well, like two, like let's just call that a ladybug because it is a ladybug. I'm not, I'm not gonna describe it more. 2012 to 2015, we have the word miraculous in white text, and then in white script, we have the word ladybug. And um, it's inside this black shape with pink outline. And of course, we have the ladybug. How could I forget about that? And this is the alternative version without the word miraculous. And finally, 2015 to the present, we have the word Zag Heroes. Uh, I don't want to get distracted. I'm going to close the door right now. This video is going to just get in like kind of long. I'm sorry this episode's late. I was too busy with other stuff after rehearsal. I thought it was going to be posted at 5, but apparently I found myself into some busy stuff, you know. Anyways, we have the word Miraculous in white text. And some script also, and then the letter O is just like a ladybug. And yeah, I just explained the top part of the logo. All right, now I'm not ex I'm not gonna explain like the logos in the other languages one by one, cause like I'm not gonna ex get into more detail about the logos, cause it will waste your time, and then you'd wind up unsubscribing from me. Um, anyways. All right, I'm gonna show you all the logos in the other languages, starting with the ling language logos in the opening. This one is the English version. This one is the Albanian version. And this one is in Catalan, Dutch, Croatian, French, German, Hebrew, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Kore the Korean, the Disney Channel version of the Korean logo, the EBS version of the Korean logo, and then we got the Polish logo, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Spanish, Latin American former, Spanish, Spain former, and Thai for the MCOT. And now we'll move on to the logos in the other languages 
used by Netflix. So this one is Danish and Norwegian, and this one's Finnish, French, German, Italian, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Spanish, Latin America, Spanish, Spain, Swedish, and Turkish. And then these are the promotions. Um, and this one's Croatia, Germany, Span Spain, and Latin America former, France, Holland, United States and United Kingdom, Italy, Latin America, Poland former, Romania, Poland, and Spain. Uh, September 1st, 2015 to March 19th, 2016. Um, this video is going to get kind of long, so I'm not get I'm not going to get into more detail on it. So we have the Miraculous logo, the current Miraculous logo, and then we got Ladybug and Cat Noir, the two main superheroes, because it says Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir in white script. Uh, sorry about that. I was staring into a blank space for about a moment. I'm gonna shut the door all the way. Okay. Um, so uh, here we have the words Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir in white text, as I was saying, with black outline on it. Because, yeah, it has the two main superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir, obviously. And here we have the words directed by Thomas Ashtruck in white text with black outline. And the background is just taking place in Paris because it has the Eiffel Tower. I'm, I told you I'm not going to get more into depth. October 21st to the... Sorry. October 21st, 2017 to the present. And May 27th, 2018, Latin America to the present. That, that doesn't make any sense. And yeah, it's the same thing as last time. But the background is kind of like different. And then we got like a byline. We got, we got more words added to like the byline. And 2017, this was their second anniversary logo. We have the number two. In, we have the we have like a ladybug number two, and we got Cat Noir, and uh, ladybug facing like this. And then we have the words year anniversary in white text with black outline. And the background is kind of like, you know, what would be seen in like a poster for a rock concert. And I still don't know what it says because the logo that I dragged from is kind of like pixelated. All right, guys, today is Wednesday, which means it is time for Requested Logo Wednesdays. Finally, after 18 minutes, we finally get to Requested Logo Wednesdays. This might be the longest logo history video yet. We'll see. But now, the, um, the logo that will be in this episode for Requested Logo Wednesdays will be Game Boy Color. This logo was requested by the Otero Cartoons. So if you want to subscribe to their channel, the link to their channel will be in the description of this video down below. Here's the short five. Those of you who don't know what Game Boy Color is, it was a handheld video game. It was a handheld game console that was that was first released on October 21st, 1998. Sorry, 1998 in Japan, November 18th, 1998 in North America, November 23rd, 1998 in Europe, and November 27th, 1998 in Australia. Wow, fun fact for William Walter if he's watching this. And it was discontinued on March 23rd, 2003. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1998 to 2003, we have the words Game Boy in blue text. And then here we have the word color. Uh, the letter C is red, the letter O is purple, the letter L is green, the letter O is yellow, and the letter R is cyan. All right, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 584, Pirelli, the Charlotte Hornets, and Rocket Power. Bye for now.